A union is an understanding that we all go further when we work together. Unions are what this country was built on, the foundation of this country, and quite honestly, what the future of this country is. Unions mean the ability to actually live a life instead of just, you know, living to work. It gives you a platform to fight not only for better wages and benefits, but dignity and respect. So as we set out on our mission of not only creating a world that runs entirely on green energy, but also creating job opportunities in communities where we work, Unions were a natural partner for us. We began conversations with Orsted a couple of years ago. In November of 2020 is when I would say the partnership was born. We have a huge opportunity in front of us. This is an incredible moment for unions and working people in the United States. We launched a landmark initiative with North America's Building Trades Unions, a labor organization representing more than three million skilled craft professionals. The partnership set out to create a framework designed to transition U.S. union construction workers into the offshore wind industry. What's exciting about the offshore wind industry is, is this is a new industry, but it's an industry that's going to ensure that the jobs created are going to be union jobs. Orsted is saying, not only do we want to do the right thing by our planet, we want to do the right thing by our people. Reports expect that offshore wind will directly employ approximately 80,000 jobs and tens of thousands of indirect jobs throughout the growing American offshore wind supply chain. Throughout the collective bargaining process, I worked with NAB2 representatives to exchange ideas, mutually solve problems, and arrive at a contract that reflects our shared values. They're the first developer who has approached us nationally and said, you're a part of the workforce development solution. From us sitting down at that negotiating table and looking at the values of both of our organizations, we quickly came to the conclusion that we needed each other. This industry is nothing but potential. We want to grow these high road, high wage jobs for more people, including women, people of color, historically marginalized groups. Honestly, the thing that excites me the most is knowing that there's going to be diversity and inclusion within this. As an African-American woman, that's huge for me. So for Orsted, a just transition is an enterprise-wide process that seeks to maximize positive impacts to workers and communities through economic investment, skills training, new job creation, social inclusion, and community renewal. So they've realized that there are going to be people transitioning out of traditional energy sectors to give them an opportunity to use their skills that they've honed for the last 10, 20, 30 years. To know that Orsted cares about making sure that their workers receive the training so that they can be on top of the you know, green energy movement. That's why I'm not scared of you know, something as new, as exciting as this. I look at this as a new opportunity. We have to make sure that workers who built this country, who made sacrifices, are able to transition into the next generation of these jobs. This agreement really gives people hope that they will have some place to go in the clean energy economy. In 10 years, I see offshore wind being everywhere. The United States is now catching up with the rest of the world. Soon, we're gonna surpass the rest of the world, and we're gonna do that because Orsted partnered with the building trades. This partnership with unions and Orsted coming together to chart out a course for the future of this industry is exactly what we need in this moment. In 10 years, I hope that we'll have surpassed the Biden administration's 30 by 30 gigawatts of offshore wind. I hope that we double it. We're not just going to wait for what happens. We're changing what's going to happen for the better. I don't think you can provide anything more exciting than that.